Welcome back. I see you are ready for more. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it looks like his pants are falling down. So I got to fix that. Sorry. Otherwise, it just looks weird. I'm going to increase the sides here. I'm going to change that to blue and then I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so that there's more of a curve and then move that up. And then move this over here a little bit. I don't want it to be bulging that much. What I'm, what I want to do actually is I just want to create a better transition between here and here. So just there, maybe increase a little bit more and then I'll, oh, I'm going the other, other direction. I know. So that looks a little bit better. I'm going to duplicate this and then move it over to the other side. Let me hit shift and uh, the arrow key because it just makes it move faster that way. I know it feels like forever here, but uh, that looks a lot better, All right? Yeah, this alien's a little out of shape. That's okay. He works at Pizza Planet. What can you do? I know. I feel the pain. All right, let's actually do the 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 Pizza Planet uniform logo. So this is a bunch of shapes. This one actually is incorrect. I after I made this, I I thought what is actually on there because if you look at a this image here, I'm not sure if we can zoom in. These are actually mushrooms. And I'm guessing, what do you call these green things? I don't know. I don't eat them. Not on pizza. Why would you do that? Why would you ruin pizza that way? It's so wrong. Anyways, let's get started. Let me get a cylinder, drag it over here. I am not going to make it this size. I'm just going to make it any size and then work with that. So I'm going to put this at two. There it is. Uh, dimensions, I'm just going to stretch this out to, let's say 60, let's try it 60 and 20. All right, there we are. Now it's going to be important that you look at it from this angle because it's actually, actually shouldn't be 20 because I'm looking at the design and this is too thick. It should be thinner. Let's try 10 and see if we can get away with that. <coughs> actually, this looks not bad. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's use this. I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to shrink it. Cause I want to get the, let me do that right there. I want to uh, get that space in the middle, man, that really slows it down. And then I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I think it might be too, let me zoom in here. And I'm going to move this one around. I want this part and this part to be thin and this one a little bit thicker. This, the sides a little bit thicker, but not too much, just enough. Okay. So there we go. I think that is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and group these two and group. There it is. I'm going to rotate this a little bit because in the picture, it is also rotated a little bit. Let me zoom out a so I can get that. There you go. Okay, it's a little bit of an angle. Okay. Now we're not done with this, but this is basically where we're going to start. And let's go ahead and change the color because it looks cool. Now, I want a ring. So, I know. I better be nice to someone. That way I can marry them so I can get my ring. 2.5. There it is. This ring is going to be, let's see right about there. And currently it is 26 by 26. Uh, I'm gonna make it 27. Let's make it 30. Let's see what, hopefully it's not too big. I like round numbers. Okay. So there we go. We have that so far. It's not bad. And I don't like this to be this thick. So let's change the wall thickness. What do you think? 1.3? I'm good with 1.3. Okay. 1.3. We're good. Now, let's think, let's think. 
I want it. I'm looking at the spaces here and here because it should be about the same space either way. I see we have different heights. Now, obviously, the pepperonis are going to be super easy, right? Because we're just making little tiny pepperonis. I'm going to change the sides here. I'm going to change this to red because red pepperonis just makes sense. I'm going to hit and hold the shift button. And pepperonis look about that size. And this tells me, I'm looking at the image right now. That's why I'm looking, I'm like wandering off here. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Pepperoni is a little bit lower. Duplicate this and I want it over here. Just watch Tinkercad do what it's going to do. It's going to put it way out over here. Don't want it there. Here. And, oh, I see. I'm like, I'm not, I don't have enough space as I do in Tinkercad. So let me go ahead and, and start getting rid of the parts I don't want. So the yellow ring around uh, this planet is two. This one should be two as well. In fact, everything should be two. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate the yellow ring, make it that, and actually, no, it's just easier doing it uh, the other way. I only have one there. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to get rid of this one right there from there. I'm going to try to get rid of the yellow part that shows right there. I was going to try to do something else, but man, you know what? That's a lot of work. I really don't want to work a lot. I just want to get it done. So I'm trying to get from here to there. And now I'm going to group shift. Now I've selected the yellow rings and this one here, and I'm going to group. There we go. Now I got to get rid of this part and this part for the yellow rings and that part I'm actually going to use the circle so I'm going to duplicate this circle uh, control D change that to that ring or uh, to, to a hole I'm going to shift and, and hold click the yellow rings and then I'm going to group control G and now we have what we want right this part sticking out and yeah looks good now I have more space to play with the pepperoni, right? Because who doesn't need more pepperoni in their lives? Not me. Um, did I say that wrong? I need more pepperoni in my life, not less. All right, so there's two. And I should have changed these all to two. It would have saved me a few seconds here. A few seconds of work. What is going on here? Did I get rid of number lock? Enter to enter yep all right we're good all right two okay and the logo does actually have four pepperoni pepperonis now we got to make a mushroom and what are those green things i keep forgetting what they're called so i'm just going to you know make the shape generator thing here and then i'm going to go to everyone's favorite the extrusion tool which is huge right now but it looks a little bit like a green jelly bean so change that to green and I think we're good to go. I'm going to hit shift and then move that down. I should just go to two at this point. Wow. That is very small. I don't even know if that's going to show up in the print. Honestly, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger so that I know it's going to show up. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to duplicate. Oh, didn't duplicate. There it is. It's taking a second. And I'm going to move it over here, rotate it right there. I duplicate it and then move it over here. I believe there's one over here. Rotate it that way. One more. <laughs> really? And I'm just going to bring it over here. Perfect. I think we're good. Now we need a mushroom. Yay, the mushroom. It's going to be a little bit more work, but we'll get over it. Okay, let's go. Let's do a search for a cube. And I think it's this one rounded cube. I'm going to start, wow, so small, right? That's part of it. And we're going to make this one brown right there. And let's go ahead and go with two. And now we need, what shape is that? Which shape is that? You know what? I'm going to duplicate this one. Move it over here. Make it brown. Rotate it slightly. And let's zoom in. I'm going to hit shift. 
and put it right there. Now we'll put the number two. That's right, mushrooms. For some reason, people will put mushrooms on their pizza. I think we should pray for them after we pick off all the mushrooms from their pizza. All right, looks like we have the mushroom. I think they're both at two. Let's see, two and two, we're good. Let's uh, make that a little skinnier. Now, this is the difference between somebody who just wants to get the project done. I'm gonna group these, by the way. What just happened? Oh, okay. Whew. And somebody who actually cares about the details. The details are, is what gonna make, details is what's gonna make your design stand out compared to people who don't really care. It's the details that make things awesome. Trust me, I know awesome. And if you saw my last video, I know Imosewa too. So, oops. Wrong way, let's go control Z. And I don't have enough space here. So guess what? I'm gonna shrink the mushroom. All right. That was too much, let me zoom in here. I'm gonna hit shift and then drag it down a little bit and then I'm gonna make it two, otherwise it will not show up. All right, it's two, we're good with the toppings. Now, here's the thing. We just made an awesome pizza. It's awesome, great, it's pizza, can't get any better. I'm gonna group this, control G, and now the hard part comes out. Uh, did we do the multicolor already? I'm gonna choose it anyways, because I know it's gonna mess it up. So here's what we're gonna do. We got our symbol, this is awesome, love it. We gotta put it on this person's chest and it should curve a little bit, right? So let's rotate it first. There it is, I think that's 90, yes it is, 90 degrees, and then let's put it down in front of the alien. I'm gonna hit the letter F so I can zoom in here. Obviously way too big, so I'm gonna hit Shift, I'm gonna hold the Shift button, and then shrink it down. When you hit the Shift button, try not to use these, uh, it's better with uh, the center one, just trust me on that one. I failed way too many times. I'm gonna shift, and the arrow key, all right, so I'm gonna move this a little bit higher. All I'm trying to do is get an idea of where it should go in terms of height and how big it should be. This, is, as you can see, is huge still. So I'm gonna hit shift and then bring this down more. Okay, I think I think we found our, our right height, but I'm not sure if you noticed this. This thing's gonna go right through his shirt, so I need to go just a little bit smaller I think we're we're good there, but let me rotate it. And just a little bit smaller. I know, this is such a great detail, it shouldn't be that small. But I think we're good here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select this pizza and the chest. We're gonna duplicate it, Control D, and we're gonna move both of them over here, out of the way from this. All right. You're gonna have to trust me, this is the chest size. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this really wide. I'm not sure if you see that. I'm gonna make this 30. Maybe not so much, or I'll just move it forward. Very important that you only use the arrows that will help you move it front and back at this point. If you move it side to side, it's not going to fit. All right, now I'm gonna duplicate this one here, Control D, and then just move it over here. You'll see why later. Actually, let's do both of them just to be safe. Um, okay, so this one and this one I'm gonna duplicate, Control D, so now I'm gonna move them over there. Okay, here, we'll deal with that later. This sphere we're gonna make into a hole and then we're going to group them, control G. This might take a while, I've seen it happen. Now this over here, we are also going, okay, let's look over here, done, we're good. Now what we need here is a block. Now the reason I have this is because I wanna be able to see uh, where I put this next block. So let's do this right here it right there. I'm going to move this up. 
very important that we cover everything. So that right there has some space underneath. And let's look around. Do we have everything covered? Barely. Okay. So now this right here is going to be solid or a hole, my, excuse me. And this is going to be solid. Okay. So now I'm going to group this and this control G. Now I'm going to make this a hole and I'm going to hold the shift button, bring it over here. And let's see what we have. Let's zoom in. Do we have what we want? No, it looks like I moved it back some before. That's fine. I'm just going to move it forward. Actually, I'm just going to, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out, okay, is this space and this space pretty much the same width? And it, it looks like it, right? Here, not here. Yes. I think we're good there. All right. So now I'm going to group these two control G and I'm gonna get rid of this pizza planner over here. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. So now theoretically, I don't need this. I'm going to move it down here and then move it away and nobody gets hurt. This one, however, needs to go here and then shift and wow. I would be very surprised if it worked the first time because it didn't work the first time when I did it. I'm going to hit the F button to zoom in and very important here that you actually look to see if it is touching the shirt. Is it C? That is why we look. I'm going to use the arrow key to move it forward or backwards, depending on your orientation. I think we're good, but no, see this part over here. I can see, I can see already that it's drowning into the shirt. S where's the arrow key? Where do you see it? Sometimes it, oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. That right there is not bad. Let me see. Yep. Yep. Let's zoom in to see if it's, yep. It's in. We're good over here. We are golden. Remember you can't go by looks here. You have to actually go in and do this. This is our alien from pizza planet. And I think if you're in my class, you're going to want to raise your hand and say, I think we should have some pizza today because I am totally going to celebrate. All right, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing and doing all the things you do to support this. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.